Hello, gentlemen. Jeff Sanchez, Children's Rights Advocate here again. This also comes from a brilliant sociologist named Estelle Villar, who females tried to kill back in the 70s. The exploitation of the American male by the American female would be purely an American affair, were it not a model for women all over the world. Unfortunately, the economic hegemony of the United States influences not just the politics, science, research, and culture of all other capitalist society, countries, but to a greater extent, the social behavior of their populations. Through the mass media, which have been relentlessly perfected to, influ to perfect this influence, it spreads to all areas of life more and more rapidly, like a virus. Yet, there is another reason to deal with the, the American woman, and that is women's liberation. American women are better off than any other women around the world. But not all of the American women, the same system that brings so many advantages to the most American women, turns by necessity against the minority within their own ranks, the women who are unattractive by male standards. Until recently, this condition went unnoticed by all, save that majority. But one day this majority decided not to put up with that condition any longer and begin to organize like their predecessors, the suffragettes. Since the American public is accustomed to listening to women when they talk, their problems were soon much discussed, not only in America, but also in the rest of the world. And this new movement was taken up immediately. Why, one might ask, why did this uprising of women start in America, of all places, where women are obviously better off? The explanation is simple, exactly for that reason. Because the American women are better off and because social differences between married women and women who earn their own living are so enormous. Because in America, more than any other country, the working woman is treated as a traitor, an outcast by the masses of female exploiters who see their own interests betrayed. This is why this movement had to start in the U.S. and no other place, used to endless power over men and to highest social prestige. American women will find the renunciation of power and prestige more painful, and if the direct approach will not work, she will procure her insignia on female power in a roundabout way, women's liberation. These are the reasons yet another women's liberation movement has failed. The enemies they fought were really friends and the real enemies remained undetected. Once again, the fixed idea of sexual solidarity under the circumstance of a solidarity with a syndicate at best misled women to the wrong strategy and they were not aware of it. Their struggle was aided almost exclusively by men. They mistook the flexibility of men for a sign of female strength and screamed that much louder and nobody got offended from the New York Times to the Christiano Science Monitor, from Playboy to Newsweek, from Kissinger to McGovern. Everybody was for women's liberations. The FBI did not lift a finger against them. Women's liberation started from the wrong premise and has missed its aim, but no force on earth will convince its members of that. Just as their predecessors, the suffragettes, secured the right to vote for women within a short period, a right they left unused by not electing women to political power and by not stopping wars. <laughs> Women's liberation saw most of their demands fulfilled immediately. The outrageous inequities in the law had, after all, been established by men for women's protection. But the ladies themselves did not see it that way. <laughs> Women's liberation failed. The story of the underprivileged women was an invention. And against an invention, one cannot stage a rebellion. Once again, Men are the mourners in a country where he is exploited as unscrupulously by women as in the United States. A movement that fights for yet more women's rights. Reactionary. And as long as the screaming for female equity does not stop, man will never get the idea that he is actually the victim. Even the emancipated women have not been obtained. Liberation of women would mean her abduction from the privileges she now has. 
It was women's liberation that made sure this would never happen. It is better to let them think they are the king of the castle, a female reader of psychology today wrote, lean on them and depend on them and continue to control and manipulate them as we always have. As you can easily understand, the whole manipulative lie was all about less attractive females being envious of more attractive females. Maybe now you will understand why I refer to them as little girls. Take care.